projects I have to help play with your math. Uh, you can go to the next slide. Um, first thing I want to emphasize about it is uh, one more. Uh, so this is a collaborative project between me and one of my former colleagues. Her name is CC. You got her Twitter handle. Uh, wait, come back. Um, and it really started uh, her first year of teaching, which was my second year, and uh, we just had a great community of math teachers that year. We just started doing math problems together, uh, like this one up here, which we found on the Math Arguments 180 site, uh, which doesn't really update anymore, but it's still a great resource. Um, and we just took this problem, we like sent it to each other, we compared answers, and it was just a lot of fun. And then CC went home over February break and decided that she wanted to bring the students in on the fun. Uh, so uh, CC is great at design, and over February break she sent me this poster. Next. Uh, this poster. Uh, she wanted to put it up in her classroom and invite students to play along with us. Um, and I thought this was a great idea, and I wanted to uh, get in on it so it wasn't just her thing. I wanted to latch on. And um, I wanted to see if I could help her improve it, because uh, this is a lot of words. Uh, so I didn't have quite the design skills, but I sent her back my draft, which was like this. Uh, and then we got together and we worked on it for a while. We ended up with a final product uh, that looks like this. Um, here's one. Uh, so we started putting these up in our classrooms, and we put them up in the hallway of our school. Uh, we invited everybody to play along with us. We got some administrators to try the problems. We got other teachers in, even from non-math departments. Mm -hmm. um, and some of our students were getting really into it. Uh, next slide. Uh, we were getting submissions from students that weren't doing their homework or engaging in class all that much. <laughs> uh, this is one that was particularly impressive to me and special to me because this is a student who was like a brilliant mathematical thinker, but like could not focus during class at all. Uh, you can go to the next one. Um, oh, there should be one more thing there. So click again. Um, so we eventually got around to putting up a website, and it was just really cool to see people you know, around the country playing along with us. Uh, Dylan wrote about it a couple of times, which was cool. Um, and other people started using it in their classrooms, which was cool. You can go to the next one. Um, so essentially, what we do with these problems is we just look for cool problems that we enjoy doing, and then we try and uh, adapt them to turn into posters. This is a problem uh, that Ben Dickman shared with us, uh, and it's a really fun problem to play with, but it's got a lot of words, and it's like a little over-gendered for me, and uh, so we tried to turn this into a problem. Uh, essentially, the next one, we're looking for problems that fit four criteria. We want them to have a low floor, and a high ceiling. Uh, uh, for us, low floor is something we want like fifth and sixth graders to be able to play along, and we want like you to be challenged by these problems. Uh, if you go to the next, uh, we also want them to be visual and succinct. We like our posters have less than like 30 words on them, um, and we want them to be fun and require a lot of play before you get to an answer. Go to the next. Uh, so this is what uh, that problem I showed you earlier ended up becoming. This is the same problem as the one that Ben shared with us. Uh, it's probably the one that looks most different than its original version, which is why I wanted to share it with you. Uh, but it's a, it's a little bit more complicated than I have time for. How much time do I got? Uh, five, almost six minutes. Great. Uh, so we're going to try one of the problems because I got that. Next. Oh, yeah, and we have a website. Uh, we have. 15 problems up there. Uh, the progress of making posters and problems has slowed down a little bit since CC and I don't work together anymore, but we still try and do it from time to time. Uh, next. So this is the problem I want to try. So if you got a piece of paper and a pencil handy, uh, in a pentagram there are five disjoint triangles. By adding just two straight lines, I claim you can go from five to ten. All right, good.
Let me know if you think you figured it out. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> 